guys, it's Friday, February 5th, 2010. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Imani. And guess what? There are only two more days until the Super Bowl. Yeah, and we're sitting here getting ready. As you can see, we've got Coke, popcorn, and cookies. And what are we having for lunch? I don't know, but Beers just tell us what she's grilling up later on today's show. And remember, report cards go home today. We hope you get good grades. Because you don't want to get grounded and miss the big game. Yeah, after all, it is the Super Bowl. And if you're wondering who's playing, it's the Colts against the Saints. I hope the Colts win. Me too. But I wonder who Coach is rooting for. I don't know. But let's go out to the PE field where Coach is talking to Amanda. Man, I hope we didn't stuff ourselves too much with these cookies and popcorn. Me too. And I bet Beatrice is grilling up something good for lunch. I know. Let's go see what it is. Okay. Thanks, Beatrice. Fourth graders, you will be taking the FCAT writing test on Tuesday. February 9th at 9 o'clock. So students, please be quiet in the middle hallway. And this will lift your spirits. The Walk Not Kickoff is next Thursday, February 11th on the BE Hardtop. It's time to get those sponsors. Let's help raise money for our PE program. So huddle up and do a great job in school today. Yeah, make a touchdown in your spelling test. And fourth graders, make it your goal to do your best on the FCAT writing next week. Now let's hike on out of here. Hope the team you're rooting for wins the Super Bowl. And we'll see you next week. Hey Lions. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Imani. And we're here reporting in front of the Lakeland Ledger. And do you know what goes on inside this building? Yeah, this is where our local newspaper's printed every single day. That must mean it is a very busy place. I'm pretty sure it is. I think they work 24 hours just to supply the news. And you know, it won't be long until we're out in the working force. I know what we do at school, but I wonder what they do in here. Well, let's go take a look. Let's start in the press room, where Amanda is investigating how newspapers are printed. Yeah, do you know they print at least four publications every day and deliver 17? Wow, let's go to Amanda, where she'll tell us more about it. This is Miss Brown's class. Our school's green team. Thanks for keeping us green, guys. Remember to recycle, Lions. Our school yearbook is going to be printed soon. So you better hurry and place your order today. The cost is $20 for a hardback book filled with this year's colorful memories. I've already ordered mine. So that's a wrap. It's been fun finding out how they print our daily newspapers. Lions, do your best and make good choices. Yeah, if you do, you might just find yourself in the paper. That would be exciting. It sure would. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Imani. And we'll see you tomorrow back in the studio. Well, this book takes you back about 100 years ago. And if you lived with the Cowboys, you would have no electronics. No cell phones. No iPods. No Xboxes. No Wiis. <laughs> You'd be sitting around the campfire just telling stories. What a life. You know what else you can read around the campfire? Yeah, family academic night. When does it start? Tonight at 5. So come before the campfire burns out. Hey, let's get to roasting these marshmallows. Okay, and speaking of marshmallows, let's see what's on today's lunch menu. Here's today's wild lunch menu. Via side of pizza. Mmm. Corn. Whole fruit freezy. Yummy. Yummy. And vegetables. And, as always, milk. Have an awesome lunch, Lions. And now here are today's rip rowing announcements. The book fair ends today at 2 p.m. If you bought money, please mosey on down to the book fair today. And finally, teachers, there will be no faculty meeting this afternoon. So please don't make plans to attend. And enjoy your family academic night. Happy Holidays, Lions! Today's Thursday, December 17th, 2009. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Imani. And welcome to Lion Kingdom News, where we're showing acts of kindness. And hey, Elizabeth, it's this month's character key. It sure is, Imani. And Lions, you've been showing a lot of kindness by bringing in these cans for the Visti Camp Food Drive. They sure have. Good job, Lions, and thanks for showing kindness. Hey, Imani, what is kindness? Well, Elizabeth, Kindness is showing a friendly, generous, or helpful action towards others. It could be tying a kindergartner's shoe. It could be cleaning up a spilled drink. Or even helping a friend who has fallen. 
or showing students new library books. And opening a door for a student. Those are some great acts of kindness. And keep it up, Lions. Hey, Elizabeth, it is sure feeling more like December. You're right. And you know, the one thing that warms me up is hot chocolate. Yummy. Hey, Money, do you want a marshmallow to go along with that? Sure. And thanks, Elizabeth. That was another great act of kindness. You're welcome. And I know this is probably making you really hungry. So let's go on over to Beatrice and find out what we're having on today's lunch menu. Good morning, Lions. It's National Pancake Day, and we're celebrating it at IHOP, also known as the International House of Pancakes. You're right. They're giving away free pancakes, and we definitely can't pass up that offer. You're right, Elizabeth. And if you're wondering why, it's to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network and other local charities. At a Children's Miracle Network hospital, children of all ages can receive treatment for every imagined disease or injury, whether it's asthma, broken bones, cancer, or even heart defects. So come on down and donate to these charities. And better yet, enjoy some delicious pancakes. I especially like the chocolate chip ones. Me too. You know, pancakes are my favorite thing to eat for breakfast. Mine too. And we've all heard the saying, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You're right. Here are some reasons why. It provides energy. You get more nutrients. And your behavior is better. Yeah, I do kind of get grouchy whenever I don't eat. Finally, it leads to higher test scores. You know, it's kind of like brain food. So eat a good breakfast to keep your body fueled up. Especially since FCAT's right around the corner. <laughs> so let's dig in. Hey Lions! Do you have a pet? If not, are you looking for one? Today, we're at a great place to find the perfect companion. The Lakeland SPCA. Most everyone would love to have a great pet. I know I would. The SPCA is committed to placing animals in safe and loving homes. Like yours. Yeah, we're going to find out how to adopt and take care of an animal later. Amanda has that report. Plus, picture day's coming up next week. Wouldn't it be cool to have your picture taken with your pet? Yeah, I'd love to get my picture taken with my dog, Chloe. But let's go take a look around. Okay, while we do, let's go to Amanda to find out about the adoption process. The word of the week is canine. A canine is a dog and their relatives such as wolves and coyotes. There are lots of canines at the SPCA. You're right, Elizabeth, and they're waiting for you to adopt them. Don't we just love animals? Yes, we do. And picture day is coming up next week. Class pictures will be taken on Wednesday, February 3rd. Students, you'll need to wear your uniform on that day. Then on Thursday, individual pictures will be taken. And the best part is, you don't have to wear your uniform. So smile pretty. And this will make you really smile. Zachary Simon has read all the Sunshine State readers. Wow, way to read, Zachary. Well, there you have it. We had a great visit to the SPCA. We sure did. So bring your parents on down and adopt an adorable little animal. The SPCA is located at 5850 Brandon Road South, right here in Lakeland. Well, let's wrap up the show, Monty. Okay, Elizabeth. We'll see you next time, Lions. Have a great day. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, plus one. Welcome to the 101st day of school. Today's Tuesday, February 9th, 2010. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Imani. Can you believe it? We've already been at school for 100 days. Yeah, there's been a lot of learning going on. And there are 80 more days of school left. So just hang in there. Hey, that reminds me. The fourth graders have taken the FCAT writing test this morning. So try your best. And if using your brain makes you hungry, then you'll be glad to know that they're serving up corn dogs in the cafeteria today. Hey, do you think you can eat 100? I doubt it, but we have some kindergartners who can count their way to 100. Great, let's take a look. And teachers, if you made some valentines for val veterans, please send them to the office right after the broadcast. They will pick them up this morning. That's our show for today. Have a terrific Tuesday. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Hey, Mom.
Johnny, have you seen any lions yet? Yeah, they're right there. Wow, I see them. They're the Philip O'Brien lions. Yeah. Well, in that case, good morning. Today's Wednesday, October 7th, 2009. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Imani. It looks like it's going to be another hot day in the jungle. That's right, Elizabeth. But there is one good thing to look up to. And what's that? The reading kickoff is this Friday on the P.E. Hardtop. That's pretty cool. Hey, Elizabeth, take a picture of those monkeys. Okay, but they need to learn some self-control. Yeah, in fact, that's this month's carriage key, Lions. We'll tell you what it is and how you can show it later on today's show. So don't touch that remote because many adventures are ahead. Here's Autumn and Mrs. Roberts' fourth grade class to lead us in the Pledge to the Flag. What are you doing? My homework. You shouldn't be doing that now. Well, you know, it just doesn't pop up with magical answers. You should be doing that at home last night. It is homework, you know. Will you just get away from me and let me do my homework? I cannot think with somebody going on and on and on. Elizabeth, you need to learn how to use self-control. Self-control? Yes, self-control is the ability to manage your emotions, feelings, and reactions. Hmm, how can I do that? By making good choices, setting priorities like doing your homework before watching TV and thinking of others. Nobody wants to be around you when you lose control. Hmm, I guess I could try to use self-control by making good choices. Do you use self-control? Trick or treat, Lions! We're here at the Pumpkin Pact of the First United Methodist Church, located on the beautiful Lake Morton. It's a real treat for us to be here. And speaking of treats, do you know what we can do with the pumpkin? Of course! Make pumpkin pie! And we can also carve it into a jack-o'-lantern. Hey, why don't we go search for our perfect pumpkin so that we can do that too? There's big ones, small ones. And even some with warts on them. Ew! Hey, let's go on a look to find our pumpkins. And while we do that, here are some things you can do with your pumpkin. You can decorate your pumpkin with stickers, paint, glitter, or other crafts that you have hanging around the house. You can also roast the pumpkin seeds. Yum! They taste just like popcorn. And finally, you can make delicious things to eat, like pumpkin bread, pumpkin pie, muffins, and even pancakes. So be creative and have fun with your pumpkin. Happy Halloween. And now for today's announcements. Lions, coming up this Saturday is the Red Ribbon Run. It'll be held at Tiger Town. The race begins at 8 a.m., but please plan to arrive by 7.30 a.m. Remember, you can still register for the race on Saturday. We want to win the participation trophy. So be there. And blazing a trail to our school next week is the book fair. Your teacher will bring you next week to purchase a great book. Whoa! Check it out. We're in a teepee. Yeah, and do you smell pumpkin pie? Wait a second. Actually, I think I do. And hey, are those pilgrims and Indians? I think so. We must have gone back to the year 1621. Oh, like the first Thanksgiving? Yep. Well, in that case, how? Today's Thursday, November 19th, 1621. I'm Redbird. And I'm Soaring Eagle. On today's show, we're going to feast with Miss Hanson's kindergarten class. And Redbird, shouldn't we bring something to the feast? Yeah. How about we bring these berries? Yum. I bet they'll taste really good with the turkey. Okay, let's go because I'm really hungry. Uh, hold your horses, Redbird. Let's go to Yellow Jacket to see what we're having in our cafeteria. Okay, but after that, I'm going to eat. Okay. Man, I'm stuffed. Me too. I don't think I'll ever be able to eat again. Me either. But since we're already here, that's our show for today. See you tomorrow. Bye.